Let's design the photovoltaic plant from an IFC file. An IFC file done by the architect, for example, who has modeled the building. So we can upload the IFC file directly in the 3D view. So import the file. And now we have the 3D model that's useful for the photovoltaic plant design. So what the, the IFC model allowed me to do? Now I don't need the modeling we saw in the previous video. So the definition of the area to install the photovoltaic modules, the DXF file. And that's why, because thanks to the IFC file, I have photovoltaic field that automatically recognizes the surface. But this area uh, has all the properties so inclination, orientation, and whole uh, properties automatically recognized. We click on the roof and I see the editor. Now we see all the area. So I can just adapt the area to the P uh, photovoltaic field. Or I can select a point and move to define a smaller area. When I do this operation, sometimes the area doesn't move, as you see there in the window. And that's why, because software recognizes some nodes, uh, some intersection, as you can see also in the, in the incorrect point. So as you see here, it creates uh, an intersection on the gutter channel. So, Right click and delete the node. Right click and delete the other node. So now it's back to the correct definition. It's okay. Also there I can delete the uh, other nodes and see if, if I can move the, the surface now. I can zoom the, the model and I can explore the surface. So I see if I if I have problem in the definition of the, um, the whole surface. For example, there I have double position, so double area for the position of the photovoltaic plant. This happens because the, uh, that depends on the accurate IFC modeling, so it depends on the native file. So I delete the node, I delete the node again, now I'm back to the linear solution. I see the correct surface. So if I select the point, the pink point now, as you see, I can move it. I can move the whole surface to the point I want. I move all and I'm telling to the software, to Solarius, that this is the area of that I want to use for the photovoltaic plant. I can always go in the editor and model the details, so change what I want. So what I have, I have an instrument able to model the area in which I want to install the plant. So select the area and click on design PV plant. Push next. So I quickly draw the useful area but now I'm going to properly design the plant. So for example, now I'm designing uh, the plant. I decide to, uh, to use, to set a vertical arrangement. Distance between modules is two centimeters. And I can set the distance from the edge is 10 centimeters. I can also specify power for example, 6 uh, kilowatts. Click on Calculate. Solarius interrogate all modules. I want to use modules with peak power 300 watts. But what type of modules? I decide to use polycrystalline modules. So I just easy move the column. 
So software defines the maximum numbers of modules uh, to obtain the, the power I want, that I want for the project. In this case, 20 modules. I obtain automatically the position in the 3D view. In a situation like this one, if the position is incorrect, if modules are not aligned, what I can do? Uh, first of all, this happens usually because surface is not properly aligned. To go back, uh, what can I do? I can delete my surface. I can go back um, to the PV field and recognize again the surface. So the editor will open again. I see the incorrect definition of the surface, but I have all commands to correctly locate uh, the, again the point. If I move this vertex, what happens? I see other points. So I delete this node and I can align now the surface. On this diagonal, for example, I can insert a new node or I can add this other node here. So we created the correct surface now. I can finish and what I'm saying now. I'm saying that my plan is on this area, this correct area. So we choose uh, 6 kilowatts, 2 cm distance between modules, and we can choose also 2 cm of distance from the edge. So calculate. We interrogate all the database, but I, I can always set a filter for example, for brand or for type model. We decide, for example, to interrogate the polycrystalline modules by generic company, or we can choose a specific one, a specific company. So we obtain 20 modules to satisfy the client's request. We confirm. So now we have the correct position. I can see all details in the 3D view. If I want to move a module, I can select it, right click, and then click on the see the plan view. In this view now, uh, we can change the position of the module. For example, I can put in an upper, in the upper line, in the upper row. So apply. So now I can see the module also in the 3D view.